Welcome to the Monday, Monday Mashup. I feel like we need just imagine that like just mashup sound effect like we need a boulder. We need a. Yeah, I'm yeah. totally with it. We're gonna work on that. Stay tuned for more. Yeah, welcome uh, to the Monday mashup. <laughs> we're glad you're tuning in. See what my editing wheelhouse could. That's gonna be. be awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hey, we're gonna talk about the sermon real quick. Chris Brandt mm. gave us an awesome sermon yesterday. Man, he um, did. Wow, he just like laid it out there from the beginning, talking about our homes mm -hmm. and what do we do in our homes. We go in and out the door, we close it, mm -hmm. like our garage door. We leave for the day, our garage door opens and closes. We come home for the day, the garage door opens and closes. And then we go and sit on our patios with our privacy fences and don't talk to any of our neighbors. Unless you don't have neighbors like me. You have neighbors. Well, yeah, they're just, they're just spread out. Um, he talked a lot about this idea that your home is, is an outpost for the kingdom. And when he said that, I was like, dang, I'm doing it wrong. You know, so we're all gonna throw a party at John's house. Come on <laughs> over for dinner whenever you want. The door is open. The garage door is closed. <laughs> um, he talked about selflessness and hospitality, and you have to help me with this word. So in Greek, hospitality translates to philo. Xenia? Xenia. Xenia? Xenia. You, you guys could probably correct us. I took a semester of Greek. It's it's been a minute, so. Yeah, so my yeah. It actually translates to love strangers. Mm. I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. I've never thought about hospitality that way, but um, wow, that kind of shook it up for me. Um, and and Brant used like three examples, uh, three three times in scripture where he's kind of sharing this idea of hospitality and selflessness with us. He talked about Elijah and the widow and her giving up her food um, and God blessing that and then feeding up the 5,000. And he used, he kind of switched it around, like not talking about the miracle that Jesus did in feeding all those people, but that kid who gave up what he had in order for that to happen. And then uh, the story of the widow's sacrificial giving where she gave two of her copper coins, which is like, basically everything she had. Um, that was that was cool to hear. And then again, the idea of God takes what's given and he multiplies it um, just in huge ways. And so the live it out assignment that he gave us um, was to share what God has given you. And so that could be your treasures, right? Your finances, it's your spiritual gifts, your talents and your time. And, and he kind of charged us to, to serve. He mentioned the Welcome Center, um, but more importantly, he mentioned children's ministry and we shared shared that children's ministry promo about needing help um we've had several people who who've come up to us since then so that's good that's awesome yeah but we need more um so if you're feeling encouraged or or just drawn to do that please reach out and let us know we still need help so we got a bunch of other things coming up too that we want yeah, to talk about um, camp hooked guys Sound like a broken record. You're probably tired of hearing me say, "Sign up for Camp Hook." Sign up for Camp Hook, guys. Yeah. Sign up for Camp Hook. All right. When's the last day to sign up. Last day. We're gonna say Sunday the 28th after second service. It's gonna okay be shut off. Good so uh, that'll be our final roster. Yeah, we got like 12 or 13 already. Yeah, that's awesome. We've added. There's no girls. What on yeah, earth is girls. up with that? Ladies, come to camp. It's yes. for you too. Absolutely. Girls can make disciples? Yeah, absolutely, they should. Yeah. Gotten games. Uh, well, actually, let's say youth group has ended for the summer, right? Mm -hmm. You had your last well, kickoff yeah, first year. ending yeah. uh, last year, and you're switching over to this idea of God, God and games. games. We got four dates for you this summer. So June 11th, we're going to come back together and play some awesome, gross, nasty games. So oh, don't yeah. wear nice clothes because uh, they will be ruined. Yeah, but don't do that. Cool. We'll throw the dates up on the screen on the <laughs> as well. Yeah. I'm going to add a one of the <laughs> in there somewhere. Oh, geez. Um, also, Chosen at RF is happening um, June 4th at 5 o'clock to 6 or 6.30. Uh, in the worship center and uh, child care is provided. Chosen season three, I think, right? Yeah, season yeah, three. Yeah, season three. Come out and watch with us. It's pretty cool. Um, We've got membership class coming up this Sunday. 
Um, if you're interested in becoming a member at Rocky Fork, you would have had to have taken our What We Believe class first. Mm -hmm. um, so if you haven't done that, wait for that next opportunity. We do these things once a month, and membership is coming up this Sunday, 3 p.m. It's held in our office classroom in the office. Yep. Um, swim nights, that's happening. I don't know the dates, but they're right here. <laughs> There's another. <laughs> yeah, we've got three, three uh, swim nights this year in the evenings. It's a mixture of Thursdays and Fridays, I think. Mm. Um, they are tons of fun. Phil and Teresa host those, and they are, they are so fun. They are like, really Adults, fun. kids, come. You're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. We rent out the Centralia pool. Uh, no cost to you, and we just encourage you guys to join us there for that. Um, Memorial Day is coming up, is. right? We're rolling up on Memorial Weekend. We would love for you to join us at church um, in between your festivities this weekend, normal church service. We are going to be closed on Monday. If you come to the office, we won't be here. Um, but we hope that, that you'll send us an email or just connect with us a different day if you need us. And coming up, June 4th, mm. food truck Sunday. Yum. It's happening again. Yep. We're going to see Mr. Murphy's Potato. They came out in May, what was it, May 7th? Yeah, they came out May 7th and it just crushed it. It was delicious. So I good. Definitely ate some of that. But also there's gonna be um, Delia's, which is a taco truck. And they are located, like downtown Columbia is their restaurant, but they also have a food truck and it is bomb.com. Yeah, we hope you'll stick around for food trucks. Bring your lawn chairs, bring yeah. your Frisbee, like bring your washers. Yeah, let's hang out. Uh, bags. Just, just hang out and, and play with us and get to know us and um, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, what else do we got? That is it, I believe. Um, yeah, we just ran through it really quick today. Awesome, so hope you guys are enjoying the mashup. Um, if you're interested in anything we talked about, just click the link below, it'll take you to a splash page with all the information um, and, and links to sign up for things and all of that. So we'll see you next week on Monday Mashup. Monday See mashup. <laughs> All right. <I'm> <laughs>